This is uh, going to be a quick demo of how to make a wheel. And a wheel is going to be just a um, cylinder with another cylinder taken away from the middle. A smaller cylinder. That's called subtracting. Um, and while this is loading up, that's what we can do. We can put shapes together by adding them or subtracting them. So we'll take a cylinder, put it on the screen, take a orthographic straight view, look at it from the top. Just so we can really see what we're looking at. I'm going to zoom in. Now I'm going to fix the size to 30 millimeters. And you'll see the measurements there. Those numbers are the, the distance across or the diameter, which you should be knowing from, um, from your math studies. And we can change the numbers, and that will change the size and give us an exact size, which is important when we're building things. They have to fit together. So that's 30, that's 30. I'm going to check another view now to get the height. So I can't see that in my top view. And we'll change that, um, make it a little bit shorter, a little skinnier. It's not that number, it is that one. And that'll change that to 15. So it's 15 high and 30 in diameter. Okay, next we're going to put a, um, a, a, a hole into this thing. I'm going to do that by adding a call it a negative cylinder, I guess you can call it that. A ghost cylinder might work too. I'll stick it somewhere it looks like to be in the middle, but I'm sure it's not quite right. So I will change to top view so I can really see it together. Now there's a new tool here that's called Align, and it'll just help me um, when I pick both objects, either by putting a box around them or by sh holding the shift uh, button and hitting, clicking at each one. I can now move up to the Align tool, there it is up there, or type L, and this center dot going up and down and across will center the holes. The, now the hole in the inside, the hole part is too big, so I'm going to click on that. I had ruler clicked once, so I'm going to change that to, I believe, 8 by 8. And we're going to end up with, um, and that lost my centering, so I've got to do that again. I should have done the size first but I'll just align it again. My bad. There it goes. And now, after my computer crashes, we come back and uh, we're going to make this into the hole. I deleted the crash from the video. It was exciting. And I'm going to pick both objects, the, the cylinder, which will become my wheel, and the negative part that will become my hole again by picking both objects. And all that's left to do is hit this uh, combine button, and we're done. And what that did is it took away the material of the um, inside cylinder from the material of the outside cylinder. It's a subtracting process. And there we are. Um, that's all there is to it.